There are many AI tools out there for generating images. The open source photo editor, drawing app, called Krita has recently gotten a plugin to integrate such capabilities right into the app. Here I have Krita open. I'm opening a 512x512 image as it's easier to process. The Credo I plugin is exciting for sure. To get you started with that head over to the Stream Tablist channel, where he shows how to install and then demos a bit of its capabilities. Make sure to sub as he's got a good series of videos on this topic. In the eye configuration, go to the connection properties. There are two options, Krita managed local versus external. My system is slow, especially as the iModel first starts, it quickens some after it gets going. Let us go look at the server logs via Krita to see what is happening at configuration, then connection, then view logs. Finally have an image. Not sure why it came up with this image. Is it a cat? Or is it a dog? Now we'll stop the Krita Manage server. And we'll demo if you connect to external, local, 
server. I've installed the portable ComFUI server. In the folder where my ComFUI portable is installed, I run the bat file, run underscore nvidia.bat to start the server. Then we can monitor the server window and can see server activity in real time. I'm not sure about the output generated from what I have drawn haha, but this is just experimenting. The model checkpoint being used right now is Dreamscaper so using a different model would have different output. Note that after the initial start of drawing, making changes is resulting in quicker output to the image. On the left is my folder for the portable install of ComFUI. Note the bat files for starting the server, run underscore nvidia.bat. On the right is the folder created by the Krita local server install.
I copied over certain folders from the Krita install to my portable install so that my server had everything Krita needs. The folders to copy over contents from are in the description, or you can follow along here. You just need to copy over files from the Krita install that are missing from your own server's install. You can keep any files you already had installed in your server's install. There may be more elegant ways to accomplish but this did work for me. Here's the folders highlighted. That's it. Feel free to ask questions or provide tips in the comments. Resources are in the description which should help as well. Thanks.